12 year age difference. McCallum a half inch taller and has four inches in reach advantage, which will mean nothing in this bout because his job is to career 33 wins, no losses, maybe the most memorable win and easy decision November 18, 1994 over the previously unbeaten James Tony. Roy Jones have made no secret the fact that he'd like to face Mike Eld. But in some ways, Roy can be given the right amount of money or the right kind of accolade. And in fact, he saved the most important fighters for the vacant IBF crowd back in quite handily, but no, look, pretty poor. Back in 1981. Of course, it's Roy Jones' ability to skip the way. Well, 84, beating Sean Mannion. This is round two, Nullums. Switching head. At the age of 16, became Jamaican champion. Became Jamaican champion. Presented Jamaica twice and had to be withdrawn. <laughs> Of 17 World Championship fight. He absolutely starts Don Curry. Well, not often you see Jones back right early on. So last McCallum's had his moments, but once again Jones won the round. McCallum didn't really connect with much. Mike McCallum for the bogus WWE Championship. And McCallum has taken as a... Well, I remember back in 89, Harold Graham facing Mike McCallum. For the vacant WBA Middleweight Championship as once again. McCallum cross swords with Ireland, Steve Collins. He ran in 12 rounds, and thereafter beat Michael Watson. Take a wallop. And McCallum fighting to put pressure on Jones, and not doing badly. I do remember when uh, in the arena, he looked absolutely to that title. I made five different... Steve was the uh, most offended. was a former life middleweight champion. Once again, nice fast hands. So this is round five. Roy Jones Jr. Pretty... It seems to be the most bizarre of hobbies. Slightly low then for McCallum. No hard feeling. Good defensive work then. He's still the super miss the IBF coming into this fight. In time now, I don't think Chelzo can make. Although he's making all of his light heavyweight title. Quite slim. She's having trouble here pinning Jones down. And again, lovely. 
Bold round three. And of course, for only a handful in his entire. Con the only man, of course, Tony Bird in one. I'll score in this match. It's a three, a point. Having a bad round here. He got through with a, one particularly good right hand earlier in this round. Regrouping, taking a bit of time to see what's on it. And as a result, looks like Mike McCallum might just have taken it. for sleeve here. And whenever you see Mike, oh, good shot. McCallum went to work with a double left foot. Jones cracked him with the right. Good shot again from Jones. Jones. And there's a look of anxiety now. Crossing the face of McCallum. McCallum. And Mike. And Mike looks into it. Jones starting to enjoy this now. And, and again, Jones. in the world at the moment will probably qualify for some confusion with the worst of weights Pernell Whitaker, Phoenix Trinidad I could list or replace the greatest fighter Robinson nothing's happening anyway to change that view in the <laughs> speed of punch such a major factor Hence the name, the body snatcher. But he's having all sorts of problems here. And of course, he... But look to... In ...basketball on the same day as, as his... Uh, I mean, he's been hit before. Without a, if one of those concussive punches landed. I'd like to refer to as very good. And McCallum there, force really putting Jones around the side of the head and telling. And again. Jones cracks my hand. And there's nothing wanting about McCallum. He's there for a punch up. Jones, though, still very cool. And he's loving this, enjoying every moment. That makes Mike look ordinary. And so much, of course, is expected of fans. They think he's going to walk out. Oh, and again, a right on the chin. Oh, and again. He's down. Well, you don't often see that in Mike McCallum's life. Only the second time in my experience he's ever hit the floor. I'm coming off a win of points over 10 rounds in. Nice right over the... Strolls away. 
McCallum looking a bit fleshy. One. Oh. Well, how do they keep his feet then? Out. Fail to hear the final bell. Well, completely humiliated by Roy Jones. It really was something. James Tony didn't win around. Punch up in the crowd. Horse, no doubt about that. Again, the rights from Jones. Show the punch to McCallum before landing it. There's a huge ball attack, and you can only do what you can do. And McCallum, one of the tid fighters in the modern game. Round. Jones has skated. And again on the chin with the right hand, he almost went down. It's all over now. One twenty one oh seven. Every round a 